the beautiful city of Athens, the capital of Greece with a recorded history spanning over 3,400 years. This was my first time to this ancient city, and being a bit of a history buff, I was certainly not short of things to explore. And throughout my journey, I learned that the ancient civilizations of Greece and China really do make them natural partners, as described by the Greek Prime Minister, Kyriakos Mitotakis. Despite the vast distance between them, both countries have built on that history to achieve mutual benefits from economic growth together. In ancient times, the port of Pireres was chosen as Athens' main port because of its inlet that protects ships from wind and tides, as well as its central Mediterranean location, making it a very efficient intersection between three continents, Europe, Asia and Africa. Today, the port has grown into one of the most active in the world, bustling with fresh vitality, in part thanks to its new management, China Ocean Shipping Company, or Costco for short. By 2021, the Chinese state-owned company had acquired 67 percent of the port's entire operation, creating more than 10,000 jobs. Their focus on modernizing it has helped Greece become a regional transportation and logistics hub, improving connectivity along China's Belt and Road. Over the last 17 years, Atsavas Sanostizis has been with the port. He has seen its growth firsthand. The company operation changed from loss to profits. As a result, Piraeus Port became one of the biggest European container terminals, the biggest Mediterranean Sea home port cruise terminal, the biggest ferry port in Europe, one of the biggest Roro or car terminal premises. For Savas, the importance of the port was confirmed with the visit of the Chinese president in 2019. And uh, also it was a chance to show that this investment is working as a bridge of friendship between the two countries. It was from this balcony that President Xi spoke of the success of Sino-Greek cooperation and hailed the workers of the Pereres port who contributed to the joint construction of the Belt and Road. Employee Patricia Zihu was one of them. We informed him about the port developments and we also enlightened the fact of our daily work with the Chinese management and employees, which is based on trust and mutual exchange. Under this new management, in addition to the growth of the port, Patricia too has seen growth from low-level employee to deputy manager of the vehicle terminal, one of the busiest in the world. Both countries share a fundamental uh, a rich uh, culture and history and uh, is, is, I, for sure it is something that uh, bonds these uh, two countries and uh, uh, Mr. President uh, wanted to see by himself all this progress. The port further enhances this progress as one of the many channels along the new Silk Road. So too do the many bilateral agreements between China and Greece. One of the 16 signed during President Xi's 2019 visit expands agricultural trade, opening up new markets for farmers such as Anastasis Karambotos to experience unprecedented growth. His family has been producing olive oil for generations in a small village some 280 kilometers southwest of Athens. Everywhere you look are olive trees. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the area uh, lives and breathes through the olive tree. The cultivation of the olive tree and the farming as well is one of the uh, biggest sources of income for, uh, for the region. And that income has gotten bigger with the opening up of China as a new export market for one of Karambotos' products. A few years ago, there were more regulations, we could say, mm -hmm. between export from Greece or the EU to China. But that's, a, that's changed over the last few years. How has that affected you? 
Yeah, there was a lot of regulations, mm -hmm. and for the small companies, uh, small family business like ours, it wasn't uh, very, very easy to expand in these kind of markets. But uh, during the last years, uh, and through the through new collaborations, uh, we managed to to expand and uh, export our high quality products in the market of China. After the first order, after the first production. Uh, during 2021, uh, things seemed to be like uh, this product was uh, meant to be for the market. Really? And uh, after that, returned five times more. You've seen five times the growth within one year yeah. period of exporting your product to China. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Since 2021, Anastasis went from shipping 10,000 bottles to China to 50,000 bottles and are now expanding their packaging facility to accommodate even greater demands. Following the harvest, which begins in October, it takes as little as 24 hours to process the fruit into oil and then add it to large storage tanks where it waits to be bottled. They have refined a blend of their oil specifically for China. All of the olive oil produced here, be it for the EU or Chinese markets, is made organically and strict measures have been taken to preserve the olive's authentic aroma and taste. You place it in your hand like that. Okay. Okay, just to warm it a little bit. Oh, okay. And help it and help the aromas uh, start to go out from the olive oil. Maybe you can place your hand as well. Okay. A little bit and then you can smell it. Okay, and then you can take a small sip. Wow. And let it uh, go to your th Into your throat. Yeah. And it's then a full circle. Once packaging is complete, these bottles are sent to the port of Pirates from where they are shipped to markets abroad. All of this opportunity has helped Greece survive not only the global economic crisis of 2008, but also their own 10-year sovereign debt crisis that followed. Greece's Minister of Investment referred to a popular Greek saying, you know who your real friends are during the difficult times. China proved the real friend of Greece because Chinese investment came in a period that Greece was in a big turbulent time. And it was a time that we needed them most. The flagship investment China's in Greece is Costco's and Piraeus port. So in general, logistic transportation and the port is an area that uh, China has a big presence in Greece. Uh, beyond that, China has put a lot of money in our grid, in Admiya, in, uh, in the energy sector. Mm -hmm. And uh, beyond that, a lot of Chinese investments are coming to the renewable energy uh, field, which uh, is significantly important for us and for China. That friendship dates back millenniums. According to President Xi, the great civilizations of Greece and China have much to offer each other. Mutual friendship is not only about the cooperation between the two countries, but also the dialogue between two major civilizations. We always believe that the cultural relationship is the foundation of the Chinese culture. 双方面秉持开放包容理念倡导文化交流推动不同文明互鉴共融 Lying over the ruins of Roman and early Byzantine Athens, the Acropolis Museum houses artifacts from Greek antiquity, a rich period between the 8th century BC and 6th century AD, from which many of the fundamental principles of Western politics, philosophy, and science were derived. Although Chinese civilization exhibits different artistic expression, President Xi applauded the profound influence ancient Greek culture still has on Western civilization today. That influence is due to the continuation of history, says George Manginis, the academic director of Athens Benaki Museum. We have to establish a common ground in order to be able to move forward. And this common ground has to be solid. Culture and history provide this solidity. While direct contact between Greek and Chinese civilizations is well documented in the many magnificent artifacts that traveled back and forth along the ancient Silk Road, indirect influences have also been noticed. 
very often when you look at a Byzantine, a roughly medieval Greek works of art, um, you see uh, a beautiful lotus scroll. Now, the lotus is not uh, a Mediterranean motif, it's not indigenously Greek. Uh, however, it's very Chinese, which is a wonderful example of how art is, travels beyond borders and connects cultures. Silk existed in some form or the other in the Greek world before the opening of the silk route. However, the technology of weaving really elaborate silks, the silks that had beautiful designs in the weave, that caught the light in delicate ways, this technology came from China and became, from at least the early Christian period, uh, the ultimate symbol of luxury. And we owe that to China. As the two countries celebrate 50 years of diplomatic relations this year, their mutual cooperation dates back millenniums. The dialogue that has continued throughout that time has led to a better understanding of what each other needs to flourish. I leave Greece feeling humbled by what appears to be a transparent honesty between the two ancient civilizations but helping each other steer through the rocky waters while providing greater channels to bring more civilizations together for a more accepting and prosperous world.